Hello and welcome to the channel. Just this morning, I covered this newly released Google's Gemma 2 2 billion model, which is a 2 billion parameter AI model optimized for various hardware. This model has already surpassed its predecessor, Gemma 1, as you can see. I also did a video on it around five months ago. And this new model, the first one, Gemma 2 2 billion, has surpassed it by over 10% in benchmarks and even has outperformed models like GPT 3.5 in chatbot arena benchmark and various others. Its performance score, its parameter size makes it an ideal choice for edge devices or your smart devices. I have done an extensive video which you can see on your screen about this model so do check it out. But in this video, I am going to use this unsloth tool to fine tune it on your own local custom data you can use it in free google colab or you can use it locally on any system whether it is windows linux or whatever you can also even do it in cloud in virtual machine if you don't know what unsloth is i already have covered it in detail in various videos so please search the channel just a quick and high level overview of unsloth it is one of the easiest tool if you are just starting out in fine tuning the models it is very fast, it saves a lot of memory, it enables you to have model in quantized format and the quantization is as low as 4-bit and 16-bit QLORA which is a quantized LORA. So what happens is that we have normally whenever a neural network or model starts from scratch, it's a pre-trained model and it contains a lot of weights and stuff. If you want to fine tune it or supervised fine tune it you would need to either full fine tune it which is called as FFT or you could use LoRa or QLoRa. In full fine tuning you fine tune the base model from scratch and you update all of its parameters or weights as per your own data. But in LoRa you just freeze all the weights of the model and you only add adapter to the layers in the LoRa which is a low rank adaptation or low rank matrices or adapters. In QLoRa instead of updating the model's whole weights you just quantize it whatever quantization you want to take and then <clears throat> you go accordingly it degrades performance that is a trade-off. Now this unslot supports both LoRa and QLoRa and LoRa it does it with bits and bytes. Also, it is open source, it trains five times faster, and also all the kernels are written in OpenAI's Triton language, and it also supports manual backprop engine. There is 0% loss in accuracy in most of the quantization which you do. Finally, it supports NVIDIA, it supports AMD, it supports, um, you know, CUDA, it supports a lot of other um, GPUs, so range is quite wide. I'll be using Google Colab to show you how to fine tune this Gemma 2 2 billion in the free T4 GPU from Google. So really hats off to Google. In order to use it, click on runtime, go change runtime and select T4 GPU. And then now first let's install this unslot. And don't worry, I'm going to put the link to the notebook. And by the way, really huge thanks to Daniel Han, who is the creator of Unslot. I already have done an interview with him. So if you're interested, please search the channel and you should be able to find that amazing interview with Daniel. Okay, so let's wait for it to get installed and then we will get moving with it. Shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. And now let's specify the parameter efficient fine tuning with the help of the sun slot. But before that, let's also download the model, which is a Gemma to 2 billion. And it has been quantized as you can see with onslaught. So the size is quite low, shouldn't take too long. And all we are doing here is we are setting the max sequence length plus data type, and then we are loading it in 4 bit. That should be fairly quick. And you see the size is just over 2 gig, shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. And now let's prepare the model for fine tuning. And as I mentioned earlier, we are using this LoRa fine tuning and in this code chunk all we are doing it we are specifying our model then we are specifying the rank of the um, 
low rank approximation for the adapter and as i mentioned earlier in lora we just put adapters on the layers and we freeze the actual weights of model and these adapters are small neural networks or matrices inserted into the pre-trained model to adapt it to a specific task then we are specifying our target modules in the model where adapters will be inserted so for example we will be using this qproj kproj and vproj these are the query key and value projection layers in attention mechanism they're all together and then we have oproj for output projection layer gate proj for gating mechanism or gate protection layer and then up proj and down proj in the transformer and then of course we are specifying lora alpha which is a scaling factor for the low rank adapters and this adapts the pre-trained model weights lora dropout is zero so dropout is primarily <clears throat> a regularization technique to prevent overfitting we are setting the bias to none in this case we are not using any sort of bias and then we are using gradient checkpointing to unsloth this enables gradient checkpointing to reduce memory usage during trading and uh, unsloth is simply the implementation of it and gradient is simply a measure of how much a model's output changes when its input changes and it is used to optimize models parameter during training and also we are using this rs lora which is a regularized low rank adaptation this is another adaptation technique and then loft q is low rank fine tuning with quantization we are not using it so let me run it shouldn't take too long we are just initializing it and that is all done so let's move on to the next step now in the next step what we need to do we need to uh, prepare our data so this is a point where if you want to use your own data set you can use it or you can download it from hugging face so i'm just going to go with alpaca one this is alpaca very famous very standard one you can use your own if you have this instruction input output format of it so let me run it it is going to download it and it is going to split it into training and validation and that is already done it is not that huge for this one and now let's specify our um, training parameters we'll be using the hugging face library for that this sft trainer from hugging face and then this is where we are specifying our model tokenizer data set which we already have specified above and then few other parameters as what exactly we are doing and this is where we are specifying our training optimizer learning rate uh, for optimizer we are using adam w which is standard and then we are just giving it a seed a random value to initialize the weights and then we are putting that this is where we are going to put this thing now i already have covered these parameters and stuff very extensively on my channel so if you're interested to learn more just search for them and you should be able to find a lot of videos around it now that is let's wait for it to get initialized and warmed up and then we will going to start the actual training okay there you go so it has initialized let's fire up our trainer it is a supervised fine tuning trainer or sft trainer and this is going to take a bit of a time and once it is started you would also get to know what would be the eta here and you can see that the training has started and eta is just five seconds now and it has it had 50 uh, 60 steps in total it is on the 58th step and this is what the training lost as the model is learning getting trained on the data set the loss is decreasing and it is getting decreased a lot and this is the beauty of it and it is all done and now let's do the inference with our new model which is fine-tuned of gamma to 2 billion and we are simply loading the model which we have just trained this model and then we are asking it the question and then it is going to fill this uh, output section with its result so let's wait for it it is generating it context length is just 64 it is just going to uh, produce 64 tokens let's wait for it and there you go it has produced the result and as you can see it has just shown us the instruction and its output amazing stuff okay and then finally if you want to save it locally the new model you can simply use model.save pre-trained and also its tokenizer 
and if you want to push it to your hugging face then simply replace it with your hugging face repo and give it any name or this name and then it is going to be pushed there and make sure to also push the tokenizer so if anyone wants to use it locally or download it they would have everything they needed so that's it you saw that how cool this unsloth is makes it really easy to fine tune models on your own data set and if you're interested as i said earlier in learning more about this Gemma 2 2 billion model please watch this video which i just did five hours ago and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching